Okay. Good evening. It's Friday night. It's 7 p.m. And it's um, Shana and Phil with your Strictly Teaching. Hey. It's the third um, oh. instalment of your Argentine stroll, stroke Argentine tango. Uh, tonight we're going to finish it off with those last few bars. Um, I will give you a bit of the history as we go through, uh, just to round things off. Uh, we may do you know, a little bit of um, traditional Argentine um, uh, with this as well, <clears throat> but we'll go through it completely tonight anyway. And um, uh, if you've got any questions at all, do send them to us because uh, we're live, so um, by all means, ask away. Uh, as ever, we have our um, house rules, uh, <laughs> and our first one, of course, is that disclaimer. Uh, you do this at your own risk uh, in your home, so uh, just make sure that you move everything out of the way, all the chairs and the sofas, any slippy floors you may have, make sure the carpets can't slide on them. Um, make sure also that the pets are secure, um, and with this morning we had one or two pets get involved as well. Um, <laughs> yes, you know, if they're going to get if involved. They, if get they're involved. doing really well, sit down and let <laughs> yes. them get on with it. Um, and of course, make sure there's a drink uh, on the side for yourselves, and there's ever toilets through there, ladies and gents on the left, which you may well need, you never know. Oh, yes. Right. Um, do you want to just double check of who's coming in? I think in we're okay. Or? We've got Sue and Barry from Ross and Dale, a first okay. up on YouTube. That's very right. good. And we've got um, popping up on Facebook, we've got Mary Kirby. Good evening. David mm -hmm. Smith's with us again. Mm -hmm. Hi, David. David. <clears throat> Andrew Rooney, Pat, and Mike. Okay. Said it right tonight. Yeah. Um, Renox back on. Oh, Cheryl and John from Exmouth. Mm -hmm. Fiona and Jeff. Uh, Howarth are on. Mary Reese. Hi, folks. David Bird. Adele and David. That is from Penwortham. I'm oh, sure I'm yes. saying that wrong. Um, Carol. I we call you Carol. Carol. <laughs> it's the one with the e on the end, yeah. as opposed to Carol is oh. the other. Carol. Um, Karen and Lee. Thomas is on. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, all. So. Uh, While well, she's just double checking there, yeah, I'll okay. quickly just uh, say one or two things about the Argentine tango. Uh, is that um, we got the other night to be talking a little bit about various styles, and the first style that was ever danced was the Kanyangu. And it doesn't sound like a, um, an Argentine name, does it? And it's not, it's another West African name, and that was when uh, two men danced it. Um, and then the next one that came along was the, um, uh, what they class as the Orillo Tango. And that was, uh, Orillo was a, a name for the outskirts of Buenos Aires or Montevideo. And so they called it the Aurelio Tango. Um, and that was in larger spaces. And most of it was done in the open air, really. Mm. Um, but as we moved on, um, the Salon Tango was the main one that was used from about the mid-1930s through to about 1956 in that era there. Uh, but in the UK, it didn't become um, a recognised popular dance until round about the mid-1980s. I'm going to leave it there. Ooh, uh, ooh. Yes. Oh, ooh. Leave it, no, leave it on tenterhooks yes. there. Um, yeah, yeah, they're all coming on, but I have to say one that's really made me giggle is Ian O'Malley. Hi from the Fat Rascals. <laughs> <laughs> they're just rubbing it in now. <laughs> yeah. So I take it to eat them all. Oh. <laughs> Um, let's have a look. Oh, Pamela says she loves the history of this dance, so we'll oh, keep right. giving you nuggets okay. as we go. Um, and I'm sure I'll let you have a little read of them in a minute. Okay, but one thing um, Martin has said, Martin and Anna from Chelmsford, um, that Argentine tango is a harder dance to lead, so welcomes any advice on right, that bit. Okay. So maybe in this last section, we yes. particularly sort of have a little look yes. at mm -hmm. that. Um, All right, everybody. Yeah, Martin, what I would say there is that like any of the dancers, it is so very easy for dance teachers to say, right leaders, do oh, this. Yeah. Uh, and what I would say is that leading is a completely separate subject altogether yeah. as to what's happening down there. Yeah. There's no question about that. 
that uh, for the man or when you get two ladies dancing together, or as we've been, you know, looking at artists here, two men dancing together, yeah, true. that the leader, um, it is, um, it is a, quite a skill. Um, and uh, you're relying entirely on the person you're dancing with following you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes, yes, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> and if that happens, you know, <laughs> One day, Phil, yes. one, one day. We'll, we'll, as we go along tonight, we'll discuss a little bit more for you about leading and, and the, uh, the best ways to, um, to execute it, really. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to invite Honeybun here. Hello. I will switch her on. Keep the messages coming in. Um, when we separate shortly, we'll have a little read through. Mm. And then when we want feedback, we'll read some of the messages out. So with the feedback is taking a while to come through. Yes. So what we thought we would do to start off, a bit of warm up, warm the brains up as well, is to walk it through once from each end. Mm -hmm. We'll walk it through all the way through to the gancho where we left it on Where's Wednesday. It? And then we'll dance it twice to music. Same idea. So one from one end, one from the other end, one walk through. One to music, you can watch just to sort of recap, or you can dance it with us, completely up to you at home. Okay? You want to call it out? I can do. Mm -hmm. I'll call it out first in with the timing. Ready? And we've got slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, and slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, one. <laughs> hey. Okay. 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 All right, everybody. So you can, we're going to do it again. Another walk through. Again, you can watch or join in. Up to you. Ready, and slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, and slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, one. <laughs> okay, do twice to music. David's still on, it's David's music, so I think he's on. YouTube as well tonight. So if you're on YouTube, say hello to him. And I think he's got his um I think he's signed in with All his right. okay. yes. YouTube mm -hmm. account. All right? Okay, here we go. She's on. Yes. Here we go. Ah. him off. All right, so, oh, David says he's still there. Very good. Excellent. So, shall we go into Sprinting. the last section mm -hmm. of the stroll? It's pretty going to be pretty much Argentine stroll based all the way through, but there might be one or two little parts where we lead or we bring in a sprinkling of Argentine tango technique as well. Okay. All righty. Do you want to do the lead steps first? Yes, can do. Um... So, first of all, I'll do it facing you. Uh, so, we've gone into this press line. Leaders, from here, we've got a step back out of the press line, and we bring our feet together, which is a slow, and then an, and, we pause. 
Then we've got a slow out with an explosion. Then we've got a slow back in. So once again, from the press line, we've got slow and slow, slow. I know what they're going to say. They haven't said it yet, but they're going to say, please can you tell Phil to do it from the back? They haven't said it yet, but I'm sure that's what they're going to say. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, from the press line, we've got a slow, slow, slow. Once more. So you're closing your right foot to left. Right foot to left. Left Changing foot goes weight. out in the explosion. Pew. And then left foot comes back in again. And I think you hold, so hold for a count after that as well, I don't you? I hold for a count and yeah, slow yeah, four slows there, I think. While the partner's coming in. So it's from here, there is a slow, slow, Two, slow, three, slow. Four. Okay. okay. All right. No comments. I'm hoping that's okay for the leaders. Followers. What I'll do is, even though we we're doing it the way round uh, at points, I'll do it this way so you can see it from the back angle. So we've done the gancho. We're going to um, step forward with right foot, small step. We're going to pivot on it and close our left foot to our right foot to face. <laughs> I'll do it the way around. Okay, so we're going to do around. So we've got our gancho. We replace our right foot down, close left to right, and turn it up 180. We're going to do an explosion line. We're going to lunge into our right leg, leaving our left leg pointed in the last line. You can take your arm out if you've got the room. I can't do it here. Then you're going to do a quick, quick, slow. So you're going to replace weight to left foot on a quick. You, you take your right foot in to point towards partner on a quick. And then with this being tango, we would never really close in a tango. So we just, we just cross it in front. So the back foot is then ready to move wherever. Okay, we, we, we've just maybe tweaked that. Not everybody does that. Some people maybe do a close, which is fine. But it's not really tango flavour at all. So we've just tweaked that a little bit. So I've got the gancho. That's where we finished it. So I've got a, a slow to, to put my foot down and a couple of hands, like a quick quick. So we go out for a slow. We're going to replace on a quick. Face part on the right foot, quick. And then just cross the left foot in front of the right for a slow, and then you're just waiting to set off again together. You've collected again. I'll do that once more. So from the gancho, we've got a quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Okay, I'll do it again, from the gancho. So I count this as a slow and. When I count an and, I'm usually referring to an action rather than a change of weight. So here, I wouldn't say quick, quick, I'd say slow and, because there's no change of weight onto my right foot. So that's when I use the ands. So slow and, I use this as a quick, quick, because there's two changes of weight, quick, quick. This is a slow, as we go out. This is a quick, quick, because it's left, right, left, right. And then a slow count, bringing the left foot across the right foot. Okay, how's that? Is that all right for everybody? Um, yes, I think it seems to be okay so far. There's um, nothing uh, coming in to say they're struggling with it. Okay. Uh, Thomas, uh, yeah. uh, Thomas McClemmon says, uh, brilliant so far. Uh, Heather O right. says, hello from Peterborough. Um, and you disappear there. off our screen, so I'm sorry if we didn't say hello yes. earlier. Yeah, and we have uh, David cooking from Ontario in Canada. Oh, Ontario, fabulous. Yes. Mm -hmm. So shall we... Got thumbs are going up. Good, yes, good, good, yeah. good. Everything yeah. seems okay there. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. some hearts, yes. So shall we do it together? Let's yeah, and C together. Celia, Celia Callow, Hi, all Celia. okay. Yeah, good. from there. Okay, so... Oh, he's taking his glasses off, he means business. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure I don't fall over the table. Yeah. <laughs> just watch out for my head. Health and safety are going mad in here. <laughs> 
So we'll do it from this little case it from here. Yes. So we've got our and count as we do the gancho. I've got a quick quick as I turn in place. Leader, you're closing right foot to left with the slow. With the slow. And quick, quick, or slow. From here, we like to sort of do an arm slide, don't we? We'll, we'll go through that in a second. First of all, we'll just do the feet. So we're kind of going to do a lunge away from partner. A nice mirrored image with a nice leg line between us. Then leader's just going to do a slow count to replace weights to right foot, closing left to right. Follow, we're going to stand on our left to replace, turn to face partner with our right, but take it slightly back to give you enough room to cross left in front of right, back into hold. Should we do that again? Yes. From the gancho. Oh, you ready there? Okay. Yeah. Very good. So from there, it would be quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Okay, do you want to call your timing out? Yes. As we do it. Well, very intense. Okay, from so, there. leader's timing is slow, 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 slow. All right, how's that, everybody? We'll do it, should we do it once more, just so you can have a little look? We'll do it quite fluently this time without, without a break. So from that, ready? And... Okay, so let me know. I'm going to come have a little look. Just to make sure, do you want to give a little nugget? Ah, yes, I can give one or two more little nuggets there. Uh, as I said just a little earlier, we um, uh, Argentine tango um, started to become popular again in the mid 1980s. Um, it really started to sort of take off in around about the 1990s in the UK, and um, it was in 1990 that the style of milongira came into Barans, um, which is that really close hold. Um, it was still incorporated with Salon Tango. So you'll notice, if Shannon and I get the chance to, to dance a little bit of Argentine Tango, you'll see that we, we are in hold for certain parts of it and then we move out to execute uh, a movement and then come back into hold again. So that was the variations of both Salon Tango and Milongira Tango. Um, through the mid-1990s, um, sort of the Tango Nouveau uh, started to develop, which was really a combination of all styles, really. It was a little bit of a free-for-all. And as I said the other evening, danced in two over four um, rhythm. Uh, and the two over four rhythm goes back to flamenco, old flamenco, uh, and it, it was actually called uh, Habanera and um, that style really is very often incorporated in um, opera and the classic one of course is the Habanera from Bizet's oh, Carmen. Yes. Yes. Uh, and if you listen, if you listen to that uh, you will hear that style and it is um, sung and danced, the dance is two over four time. Uh, so you can play that um, habanera, and the habanera, um, I've heard it played on classical guitar, and it's a lovely piece to dance Argentine tango to. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, all looking good. Um, hearts, likes, we're doing well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we're not doing well, they're doing well. Yes. Okay, so shall we dance that to music? Yes. Um, it's from the gancho, isn't it? So we it might is. have to just count ourselves in. Yeah. We'll take it from the beginning of the music. Yeah, I'm coming back. We need to run that. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay. So our connection here with the explosion line is that we've, as we, we've sort of got into this position, so we've, we've come in and we're in a closed position, we slightly open out. Now this position here, as we go into the explosion line, first of all. I'm going to push. Okay. Gentle push off. But my right hand and my partner's left hand slide down each other's arm to almost a wrist hold, really. Yeah, this is how we interpret it. it. Okay. So it's a bit more lead on somewhere. As we open out and go into that explosion, she's hanging on to my thumb here. <laughs> oh, I'm saying so something. Dear life, I've got a new score to say something. There's resistance in this connection at the front. There's a huge, huge amount of resistance. <laughs> the minute, uh, to push off, so I can, you can push off. Okay. Yeah. Now you don't want to, you want to be still of your own feet, but I like it when we do actually use our partner to create potential to move back with a, a pull back. So it's not a kind of we're going to a line like that. We try and make it a bit more authentic, lead and follow, even though you probably wouldn't do this in an Argentine, Argentine tango. No. If they did, we thought, how would we do it? And we probably think it'd be something along these lines. Okay. So gantry time. Just watch out for that window. Yes. Okay. So we go quick, quick. We're preparing. We've actually compressed into each other very slightly. So you've got some potential to move out. Out. I only slide down to wrist personally. But if I let go, we're going to go, aren't we, a little bit? Mm -hmm. We'll let go just a tiny bit. And then you can pull, he pulls me back in. I pull back in, both of us. So you get more of a spring back. Don't and get too mad. If you're in a room like this, ladies, you can push yourself back up the window. No, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to read on. <laughs> so, gancho time. So, from the gancho, so we go quick, pull in, out we go, in, cross. I also like the light and shade of it, personally. But you've got your gancho, <clears throat> we've got a little flourish on the end. You're coming in, so it's quiet. It's you know, real stretch across, lots of pull back, and then it goes quiet again. Now, uh, before was it Martin who wanted a bit of information? Lead and follow. I'll so, have a look just in case there's more questions. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carry on. Yeah. Um, leading this uh, from that press line, um, I've got still my partner in this embrace so for me to bring her to that position there okay i am using my arm okay there the other thing is because she's done a gang show through here because it's quite a quick move i can also use the back of my thigh there which pushes her leg forwards and this is um, a common move in Argentine tango, that in this press line, if I just come back slowly, my partner will know that it's a slow move. But if I come back quickly, she will feel her leg go forward quite quickly. So it's a sign and a part of a lead for her to know that this is going to be a quick move. But my turn for her to turn is all in this arm here. Always, yeah. There. There's the turn through the right arm. Just had a lovely comment. Cheryl and John, I think they're from Exmouth, yes, yes. Um, when they do this part, when they, they feel as though they're creating a heart shape between them. Oh. Oh, how are they? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm just tr trying to visualise how that works, really. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were going to tell me when they do it. You don't know how long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drawing a heart for them. Like that, right, you see. Yeah. And there's your hands. Oh. Like that. And then the hand, the feet go in. Right. In the middle. Okay. Oh. Yes. Now then, one other thing there. Um, I've gone out. Okay. What I am doing is bracing, leader is bracing on the left foot to push himself back. And at the same time, I'm drawing my partner in. There's a, a resistance there, a counterbalance. Yeah. So I'm bringing that in straight away. But what I am doing at the same time as transferring that weight over to my right foot, because I know I'm going up on my left. 
but immediately I'm going into that, the abrezzo, yeah. that embrace the quietness again. to go up there. So I set myself up ready, and on the slow there, so I've got, there's a slow to come in, there's a slow to go out, there's a slow to come back in again, and on this next slow is I'm getting myself ready to go into that embrace, there, to have my partner in that, that embrace ready. Good. So shall we um, do the next section then? Yes. Do you want to lead the steps first? And I'll just make sure any comments are... Leader steps. I'll let okay. So leaders, we are the next um, part of this. I'll do it facing you first of all, then I'll turn around the other way. So we're going forward on our left foot, and then we're going to go diagonally on our right foot. And then we've got a rock. So we're rocking back. One. We're rocking forwards. Two, and we're three, rocking back. And we place the weight onto our right foot. Yeah. Ready to start it all over again on our left foot. Yeah. Very similar to the square tango. It is. Apart from the yes. left So in this embrace hold, I'm going forward, then diagonally. Then I've got a rock. One. Rock, two. Rock, three. Rock, Four. So, going from uh, looking at me from the rear, okay, I've got a step forward, a step diagonally on my right foot, then I'm going to rock, One, two, rock, three, rock, four. Rock. Ready then to go up on my left foot. Once more. So, four rocks to get round. So we've got step forward on the left, diagonally on the right, and we've got one, two, three, four. All slopes. And um, to make that work, always remember with these um, pivots, inside of the Inside right leg. Yes, yeah. inside of right leg, for both leader and follower. Yes. So you're pivoting round. Central to right. Okay. Locked in. Okay, so we've done our explosion, we've come back in. I'll do it so um, you see the back view, so you can have a little copy if you haven't done this before. So I've come back in, I've crossed my left foot in front of my right, ready to go back on my right one as an Argentine tango you would. So we're going to do step back on the right foot, ladies, followers. We're going to step back on the um, left foot, but just turn it 45 degrees. That's our check line. Then we've got four rocks to go round. Forwards, back, forward, back. Okay, four rocks, four full rocks. Okay, we'll do that again. So crossed in front, we're going to take our step back. We've got our one step back, two slightly on the diagonal. That just prepares us to turn. We've got our rock forward, our rock back, our rock forward, our rock back. And then we're back to start from the beginning. So we're now facing against line of dance, so we're going to start backing line of dance. Should it once more? Yes. Here we go. Let's know if anyone hasn't done this before, and we might just explain a little bit more about the rocks. But I'm assuming most of you are okay with a square tango, for example. Okay, so let's know if you're not okay with it. And we'll do it a little bit slower. Okay, here we go. So it's slow, 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 slow. Pretty stationary, it just rotates on the spot. It doesn't go anywhere. Okay, I'm going to look at the comments. Let's have a look. Everything okay? Yes, you have a quick look at the comments. And um, just see if everybody's got that fairly clearly. And I'll give them another little nugget. Okay. And that little nugget is, um, <clears throat> as ever with dancing, um, all these styles were created um, within the dance hall or out in the open uh, streets where it was danced by um, the working class people. But uh, <clears throat> somewhere along the way, there will always be those sort of <clears throat> higher classes uh, that wants to do something with it, number one, to earn money, that's a, a priority for them, and secondly, to take it a little bit away 
from the working class to do something with it that's a little more elaborate and mainly for the competition dance floor. So we've talked about various styles. So the other styles that came in in the 90s and uh, the, the middle to late 90s was um, <coughs> show tango and tango fantasia. Now those two were designed specifically for the show floor, for the competition dance floor. And within that, you get um, uh, lots of um, uh, kicks and flicks, but mm. also lifts. Yeah. And, and they call them, uh, they didn't call them lifts, they call them, and, and this is where it comes in, they call them acrobatics. And for me, it fits in very well as you go through the ages of dancing, is that when it got to the competition dance floor, dancing went from dancing socially to actually almost like upright gymnastics. And you could say that about ballroom and Latin dancing on the competition dance floor. When you see them dancing, the speed they do it, it is almost like um, an Olympic sport. And going back to 1929, that is exactly what the World Dance Floor Council wanted. They wanted this performance to be more like a sport and a gymnastics rather than the dancing to take it away from the basic common of dancing, social dancing. And that's what happened with Argentine tango. Um, so the tango fantasia or show tango and the, uh, is strictly for the ballroom uh, competition dance floor. Thank you. Um, so Pamela has just said, please can Phil do his steps again with, um, with back to camera? Yes. And just the last part, or? Yeah, I, I think that's just the last part. The last Someone part. just said section two is difficult without a partner, but parts one and three are okay. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, yeah. So, uh, the last uh, part, um, it says we've got a step forward on the left foot, and then diagonally on the right. And then we've got four rocks. We've got one, two, three, four. And we're ready to go off on the left foot to start to start it from the very beginning all over again we do that once more so we've got forward diagonally and then four rocks one two three four okay so should we do that together yes let's do it from each direction so leaders can see your feet this way can't they so we've done the roll in so i've crossed uh, left foot in front of right, ready to go back on the right as a follower. Okay, here we go. And one, two for the uh, walk and the check. Now we've got four rocks from now. One, two, three, four. Okay, we always say in our classes, don't we? We've got to make sure, which way around can we see this now, that you glue your inside, probably just above the knee, to your partner's same place on the right foot. Velcro it in so it cannot move. Mm -hmm. So you are always pivoting around a fixed point mm -hmm. and you're always going forwards and backwards. There's no side steps at all. So if we keep going, Phil, it's forward and backward around that fixed point. Okay? I'm going to be dizzy now. Let's <laughs> go back the way. <laughs> all right, we'll try, try it again for you. So I've just rolled in, here we go, and slow, slow. One, two, three, four. Okay, shall I do that end? Yes. So I've crossed my foot in. Here we go, ready, and walk, check. Rock, 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 rock. Okay. When we, um, the originators did this, they did quite a, a big, beautiful, <coughs> okay, mm -hmm. contra check um, for that first step. So they actually do, um, after that crossing, they do a walk, they do actually a beautiful, big line there, um, which again is a personal choice if you've that's, got space to do that's it. That's more of a ballroom. And again, right? yeah, it's, it's more of yes. a, you know, a sequenced mm -hmm. um, version. Of a kind, it's a proper contra check. Yes. Yes. Yeah. In Argentine tango, but you wouldn't do that in Argentine tango. tango. We call it a rebound. It's a quick. Yeah. And so it's just a, just a little check. So yes. again, we we prefer dancing it with the Argentine tango flavour, 
So we don't do that. We don't do the big one. But if you do that at home, don't think it's wrong. It's not wrong. It's just not what we call Argentine yeah. tango, which we prefer. Just because mm -hmm. we dance and, it. And so when we have a first dance this, uh, we added that little bit of Argentine tango flavour in, into the rocks. Yeah, should we do that next? Yes. Should we dance it standard? Yes. And then we'll just show you those tweaks with the pivots. The little ganchos and the pivots, which are quite nice, aren't they? Alright, so dance, should we dance it from the big... No, let's just dance that section. Yes. So imagine we've done that line outwards, we're going to roll in and we're taking it from there. coming in I'm hoping okay. that's good. Uh, Martin who was talking about leading that last bit there uh, to lead um, first of all is that you will see I've got the embrace and I've got my hand straight across the back of my partner's back just below her shoulder blades so as I lead her forward for the first step in the check I'm slightly offset so as I step forward I lead with my chest there's the one and there's the check so as I'm now doing my rocks, my first rock, okay, I'm bringing her back with my arm. This hand really is redundant. It's like a little crook of the arm. It's, yes, it's here. This is where the lead comes. Now I lead with my chest. Now I lead with the crook. And now I lead with my chest. So when you're going forward, you're yes. moving your weight forward with your chest, yes. the chest lead. Yes. Mm -hmm. and it's your body lead, isn't it? But yes. in Argentine tango, obviously yes. there's less with the hips, there's less swing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're going through with the chest. And when you're going backwards, you're leading with the crook of the arm. Crook of the arm, yes. yes. So going backwards is with the crook of the arm. If I was taking my partner to the left, which would be to her right, this here, the pressure would yeah. come from there with the crook of my arm across her rib, I would take her that way. And okay. we should be receptive to that as yes. a follower, mm -hmm. that if the weight is coming towards you, obviously you would move backward out of the way. Yes. And if the if there's um, if there's a feeling of being drawn to partner, then obviously we go with that. So it's being always thinking all the time, which way am I going next? Yes. And what you find in Argentine tango, which is how I rolled in for a follower, you very often have this back foot active. You're not sure where it's going to go. So you're hedging your bets. You might go that way. You might go that way. And you very often you see them at the beginning when they do things like this, a little rouleau, a little corte. Yeah, this is what's you known as a corte. It's a pause, thinking, where's he going to go next? Where's he going to go? You can do all sorts. You're just waiting, but you're showing this leg is free. So the corte is actually a comma in the conversation. Yeah, and it's just a pause. Yes. And because the Argentine tango is a language. It's an unspoken language between man and woman. Um, and, you know, for some people that will come really easy. <laughs> you know. I don't have many courses. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she doesn't put too many courses in all four yeah. stops. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's it. And with a corte in Argentine tango, a leader and follower can do it, but it's never done together. Either one or the other is active or passive. Yeah. yeah. So I feel when I roll in, mm -hmm. I feel just, even though it's the sequence time, so we know we're going to go off, mm -hmm. I try and feel as though we do the cross in front, mm -hmm. but this back foot is ready to go mm -hmm. in any section. Yes. And that's the leading and following. So we're just ready 
to go. I know it's going to be at this foot, but I don't know where it's going to go. So after off he goes again. Okay, it's just that slight nanosecond behind leader and reading the direction. Yes. So uh, for Martin, who was asking about leading, yeah. uh, I brought my weight in on my left foot. Um, I've got all my weight now on my right foot, no weight on my left. But because I know my partner now has got um, a free foot and she's actually doing a corte, I'm going to stay still. But to let her know I'm going to go in Argentine tango from this position, I'm going to drop slightly. She'll feel me go down. Compress, yeah. Yeah, I'm compressing into my standing leg. So as I compress down into the standing leg, she immediately knows, oh, something's okay. changing. Off we go. Yeah. And from there, my chest is going to lead her. Yeah. That, that change of weight. That change of weight. Yeah. And my less into chest goes yeah. through. Yeah. But for the follower, she's got her eye line. Um, for us, it, because so we're, we're a similar height, so it's easy for Honeybun there to keep her eye line onto my upper chest, which yeah. is what you should be looking for in that yeah. Argentine tango. The man's chest moving. Good, but we've strayed into Argentine tango quite yes. a lot there, haven't we? Yeah. Um, so let's go. Shall we go all the way through first, yes. or shall we do the pivots? Um, well, let's just do the pivots. Let's just do the pivots. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We. This is something we, you may have seen the video we did about, gosh, seven or eight well, years ago seen. now. But we added a little bit of our tweaks to it, didn't we? So, um, yeah, it must have been about eight years ago now. Um, we did a little tea dance, didn't we? We taught this. And you may have seen the video on YouTube, I'm on the purple dress. <laughs> and um, when we did that, it was it was the crown in Nantwich, wasn't it? Beautiful room. Yes. Um, but um, what was I going to say? I've lost where I was going now. It just came, didn't it? Really, with the gancho. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, that's what I was saying. We, we put our own tweaks on it. Yes. So we did our own little Argentine tango tweaks. And everyone seemed to really enjoy the pivots. Yes. Uh, with the ganchos between. So we'll, we'll have a go through it now, shall we? This isn't... So this isn't the inventor's script version. This is something we put in just to make it a bit more Argentine tango. So you... Leader, you're doing it on, uh, on the rocks. It only happens on the four rocks. For leader, it's the first rock. And the third rock, so it's the and count between one and two. So we'll just do the, spe the, the step and the check first of all. For the check, so we do our first rock, and as I put my weight forwards and I've created space, Lee's going to take his right foot, I can feel it, um, and gancho it over my foot, okay? So that will hook over my foot. Then he puts it down again, steps between my feet, and I do the second one, I go, I gancho his. Then he ganchos mine. And then the last one we need to keep without it to carry on. Okay. And we do turn it a bit more when we do when we keep going. So we'll do it, we'll do it without just the pause. So it's a step, check, step, gancho step, gancho step, gancho step. This, um, when you first start, it's hilarious and you might want to wear shin pads. <laughs> it just takes a little while to get, uh, but what you're doing is you're only gantoing on your right foot and as you're stepping back, you are just bringing it across, it just feels like if you're just bringing it across your left foot really, but there's a foot in the way, so you're actually gantoing it around somebody's leg, your partner's leg. So leader, you're doing it on the and count between the one and the mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. and the three and the four. And followers, you're doing it between the two and the three. So you're taking it in turns. It's whoever's... And if that's not confused. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Why did I start saying this? <laughs> that's just... You'll understand it when you see it. Yeah, right? yeah. So we've got our step forward. Step, check. One, and two, and three, and four. Okay, do it the other way around. Yes. Confuse you even more. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And step, check. One and two and three and four. One last go. Yep. Ready and step, check. Rock and rock and rock and rock. Okay, it does need a bit of practice. Um, if you've got 
Similar leg length is much easier. If you've got one of you legs up here, one of you legs down there, one of you will be okay. <laughs> but the other one won't. So this is a personal thing. You know, if it, if it works for you and you enjoy it, put it in. Um, if not, it doesn't make any difference at all. You just do the bonks. Okay? I'll just double check. They might all have gone home now. I'll give you one or two little last nuggets. Um, styles of Argentine tango. Um, through the 90s, uh, we then had the um, tango waltz, which is beautiful. We, we really enjoy tango, uh, tango or tango waltz. And the music, the style of music is really, really enjoyable. We need to do that. Yes, really enjoyable. Then you've got the longer, which is a bit of a fun. And we need to do that. Uh, real, real fun. The music's quite quick. We could go on for years, <laughs> Phil. We've got enough to do years and yes. years of these. Uh, and then there's this, yeah, the tango malonga. Um, which is uh, quite quick and it's a fun side of Argentine tango really uh, but we do love dancing uh, tango vowels, the, the tango waltz. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got mixed views. Some prefer the, the standard with the non flicks, and I can totally understand yeah. that. Mm -hmm. uh, some are going to try the ganchos. So it's a personal choice. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, sometimes if we're slightly off balance, which we all are, aren't we, from mm -hmm. time to time, then it just makes you feel like you can just, you know, you can go with the standard version. But if you're on balance and it's going really well, then you can think, yeah, I'll put a gancho in. And that's how the dance is. You just read where you're up to at any point and think, you know, should we adorn this or should we keep it straight? Right, I'm just, yeah, everybody said good, 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 good. David Bird, I like that. Ganchos to aspire to. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you never know. Sometimes you put them in and you think, yeah, I did them. Yes. Yeah. So, are we going to do it two, three times? We are we now. We've got it yeah. all, haven't we? We've done it all from start to finish. We talked a bit about lead. Mm -hmm. We did talk about the variation on Wednesday with the hero. Um, that was kind of a separate part, really, for to play with. Yeah. So, we're going to dance it. Should we dance it straight through? twice, mm -hmm. one from each end, yes. we'll gather ourselves, make sure there are any questions we need to answer, and then I think we should just keep going mm -hmm. to, to a full, the full track. So we'll dance it twice for you. Come and join us mm -hmm. if you're ready to, or you can have a little look if you prefer, and then uh, we'll have a break, check for questions, and then we'll dance it continuously. And then we'll go and have some tea. Are we ready? Yes. Time. Any questions? Let's have a little look. Yes, David's on there. He's just said about the music. Please go and find his dance channel. He's doing it all for free at this time, just like us. So um, we're really pleased to be working with him. Yes, um, oh, absolutely. So yeah, go and have a look at his YouTube channel. He's got all different rhythms coming on, one every couple of days, I think. Yes. He's working hard. Mm. Ganchos are tricky, but we'll keep practicing. Yes. 
and a way to do it. Like the Gantt shows, but yes, it's about practice. Yes. Okay. So, are we going to dance this right the way through to the track now, are we? Any other comments from you? No, yet? someone just said about doing the tango waltz. Oh, right, it's yes. It's gorgeous. Tango waltz is gorgeous, yes. isn't it? We need to do that. Right, okay, everybody. This is our big moment. This is the finale of the week. We're going to dance it all the way through without stopping. Are we ready, Phil? We're going to take up your place. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We're going to keep going. Little steps, everybody. <laughs> Everybody. Yes. Well done. Yay. Whee. Good. <laughs> Lee's abandoned Karen to go and watch the speedway. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Right. Yeah. So good. that's your Argentine stroll. Broken down with a bit of a bit of tango sprinkled on the top as well. Mm -hmm. um, but as we said, Argentine tango. Uh, it's lovely to dance to. Yeah. Uh, it takes a while to get into it. Um, I mean, we might come back to it. We'll yes. see how long we, we keep doing these. Yes. Uh, there are so many rhythms we've got we can do. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Yes. We might come back and do mm -hmm. it. So we hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, it, it doesn't take, uh, we don't need too much persuasion, do we? To get up no, no. Like yeah, it's good fun. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's it for Friday evening. We should be back tomorrow evening at um, 6.45. Six, yeah, we're going to come at 6.45. 6 so we can um, meet and greet. Yes, yeah, so we'll have a good chat with you yeah. beforehand. And we'll nice start catch up. at 7. Catch up on the yes, week. We'll start our dance at 7 o'clock and we'll be doing all the rhythms that we've been teaching for the last four weeks. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Four so weeks now. It's long to see. Tomorrow, when we do the little meet and greet bit at the beginning, we'll have a drink together. Last time we said, tell us what you've done that's been productive. 
Yes. Tell us your favourite dance. Yes. So it can be a sequence dance, it can be any rhythm. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow night, mm -hmm. when we all meet up, um, let us know your favourite yes. dance. And if you have a question about any part of your dancing or any particular yeah. dance or a move that you find slightly difficult, yeah. um, message us, let us know. Yeah. yeah. It might not do you any good, but <laughs> <laughs> well, we might not know the answer. <laughs> so, well, okay. exactly. yes. <laughs> um, but as ever, next week. Next week. Oh, next week. I know, yeah, what are we doing next week? Next week. Forties week. It's forties week. I think you know that already, really. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's VE Day on the Friday. Friday. Yes. So it's gonna we're gonna have the dance on the Friday at five o'clock, not the Saturday this next week. So we know dance a week tomorrow. Yes. It'll be on the Friday, Friday instead, five till six or whenever mm -hmm. we finish. Okay, and it's going to be 40s week. So we might throw one or two novelty dances in mm -hmm. as well, but we're going to do a bit of swing, swing jive, jive, but roll. really, really easy. Yes. So um, we might, for those who do Lindy, we might mm -hmm. put a few Lindy moves in, mm -hmm. but nothing too difficult. Yes. Okay, so yeah. a bit of fun. Yes. We try and do a 16 bar yes. one as well. You'll enjoy the Lindy. You will. Yeah, but it's not going to be too fast. It's, there's going to be no aerials or anything. No. It's just like, you see us dancing, we have a few little funny, quirky moves, mm -hmm. things like that. Yes, so that's next week. That's next week. Okay. I'm just a book stroll in the morning. Yes, oh, just a book stroll in the morning. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so get a good night's sleep on Sunday night. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, as ever, it's, um, we hope you've enjoyed it. Do stay safe. Do stay healthy. Enjoy your weekend, and we do sincerely hope that we will see you tomorrow evening. Yes, yeah. But the drinkies. As ever, from us, us to you. you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Take care. Love to you all. See you soon.